Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect with Redis database from your C Sharp application. So for this tutorial, we will create one console app that will connect with Redis database installed on my system. And then we will run some commands of let's say list or set and based on that we will interact with Redis database. So first thing, make sure that you have Redis installed on your operating system. Next thing, open Visual Studio and create new project. Okay, and here choose console application, name it, let's say Redis C Sharp 2 and click on OK. Now it will create one solution for your project and there we will add one package. Okay, so for Redis there is one stack exchange Redis package that we will install. So go to tools and from there call for package manager. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Let's find out where is package manager. Go to package manager console. Okay, and on that console we have to type install dash package. Stack exchange dot release. Okay, then it will install that package specific to our console app solution. And from there, we are going to use that in our program. Okay, now it says successfully added release package to our project. We can close the package manager console and go to our program here I'm going to type in using stack exchange dot release okay now in inside our public static void main simply use connection multiplexer Okay, and here simply call for connection multiplex dot connect. And simply use localhost if you are not aware of which server to call for. Then next thing, call for I database. Then let's say I'm gonna create a red DB and then call for redis con dot get database. So we will get to default database. Okay. and then next thing we will create one set and then we will also call it and print it out on console okay so red db dot string set okay and here let's use key one and value one now for console we will call for this 
set using a string gate operation. So use right line and inside that use red db dot string get and inside that simply use key one as your set value so it will print out value one okay make sure that everything is properly taken care of okay so all errors are gone and now go to your start button and click on it this should open one console and it will send you the value one as output as you can see here it shows value one as output because we created a set name key one with value as value one and we called string get method to print value of our key okay so this was a simple way for you to connect with your redis database work with list set hash and other redis commands okay so we are installing stack exchange dot redis package if you have any other package that allows you to communicate with redis db you can try that and you can pause the video and go through this code and try it on your own